this message is needs or wants. All right, as you see, I've got many styles of traps. They're all called live traps. That means whatever I'm trying to bait will enter this alive and be alive when I come to it. Now, when Satan sets a trap or a snare, you're alive when you come to it. You can see in this first trap, I've set some wants of man, sports. We've got a basketball, soccer ball, and a baseball. Those are wants. The next represents gaming industry, another want. We have some technology and the TV and another want, and a cell phone and another trap that's a want, and a piece of paper we'll get to. All right, it seems like sports, they take our Sundays and our Wednesdays. Games, we end up playing so long that we're too tired to do anything, and we always put other things on hold. TV seems like a luxury, and we want to come sit down and worry about nothing else, as well as our computers and our cell phones any more rule even the table at the restaurant. We're losing our needs. These two items are in what we call minnow traps. These go in the water. Why did I put those in the water? Because these two items pull you into a whole new realm where you are communicating with people and sometimes on things that you can keep hidden that you should not even be trickling off into. And these two items, they're in a live trap, a land trap. Why? Because these here, these kind of keep your head above water but can still take you away from this precious word. Now, before we get to the paper, what's our need? You notice there's not a need in any of these traps. I've got it in my hand, right here. The Word of God is our need, the Holy Word. Satan will never set that Word in a trap. Now we're going to head over to this other trap. I said I had a piece of paper. I've got this thing set. So when I reach for that paper, it goes off. You get snared in. What do I have written on this paper? Get in other people's problems. That's why I set that one. That one is a double door trap. You enter in from either direction to a person. We get trapped by worrying about everybody else's problems instead of looking at our own. It's time we start looking at ourselves. Quit looking at others. Get in the Word of God. Stay away from the traps Satan has set for you. Trust me. He's got them set. He's got them baited. Just like God knows you, your needs, Satan knows your wants. God's all around you. Satan is sitting there setting traps up. So be careful. Watch out what you want because it is in a trap somewhere to draw you away from what you need. May God bless you and have a blessed day. And stay away from the wants of life. Get what you need.